Welcome to our 2130 Partners Operating Principal video series. I'm Suzanne Mayo Frint, Principal of 2130 Partners, a leadership development and education firm, and co author of the book Accelerate High Leverage Leadership for Today's World. This video segment is on our operating principle Make It Safe and Productive for Myself and Others. So, this operating principle is supported by many of the other operating principles, a key element of what happens when I can make it safe and productive for myself and others is I can create a productive environment around me of mutual trust, respect, and safety. When there's a productive environment of mutual trust, respect, and safety, generally the real issues can surface much more productively than if there is, if that environment isn't in place. And once the real issues can surface, or we can talk about them in a forthright, um, productive, you know, an effective manner, situations can get resolved with much more velocity. So, what does it mean to make it safe and productive for myself and others? Well, it doesn't mean not bringing up the issue or keeping quiet about stuff. It also doesn't mean being, you know, harsh and cruel and rude about it. Some of the other operating principles, be direct and sensitive, take myself lightly, use I statements, be present, all of those operating principles wrapped together when I'm practicing them are the things that help create a productive environment and make it safe for the real issue to be, to be raised and resolved effectively. So, how do I know if I'm being a contributor to a, contributor to a productive environment? Am I practicing those other operating principles? Am I bringing, am I bringing my, by way of my thinking, my listening, my speaking, or my actions, some way that creates it as unsafe to bring up what's really going on? So I can practice self-awareness and self-intervention, see what I'm bringing to the party, what environment am I creating, what brain priming do I have set that is affecting the way I'm coming across in the moment. Being responsible for what gets heard, another of the operating principles. So when I'm practicing those operating principles, that's how I can see and look in, in the environment. Are people bringing up the stuff that matters most? Are they hesitating or just giving kind of the corporate nod? You know, what's the quality of the conversation? What's the quality of the brainstorming of the problem resolution conversation? And so how do you know if another person feels it's safe and productive environment? Well, you could ask. You could say, what you know, this the environment, the conversational environment that we've created here, state your intention. It's my intention to create a conversational environment where we can raise and resolve real issues. How can we interact together to produce that? Is this one of those environments? If not, what's missing? What do we need to put in place to really get at the heart of it? So it sense that if we can get at the heart of the issue, brainstorm our way out of it, we'll be much more productive. So ask questions. Get good at asking questions. You can also sense, if, you've, if you're become an astute reader of body language, you can recognize the deer in the headlights look, the, you know, I'm, I'm staring at you but there's nobody home look, the I'm checked out even though my body is here look. So check and see what's going on in the body language of the people in your, in your meeting or your group, in your interaction. Is it one where they're engaged, they're connected, they're sort of forward um, leaning into the conversation? So make it safe and productive for myself and for others. Check our book and other resources on how you can be a more productive um, participant in conversations and interactions. And practice this principle over and over and accelerate your leadership.